Hey, MCE crew, I hope your day is progressing profitably. Got a question for you. You know Ray Dalio. What if Ray Dalio came to you and said, hey, I want to have lunch with you four times a year, once a quarter. And during our lunches, I'm going to tell you what I invested in, what I, Ray Dalio, invested in in the previous quarter. I'm going to also tell you what I sold in the previous quarter. And I'm going to let you know what percentage of my portfolio is represented by a particular stock. I'm going to show you all of that in our once a quarter lunches. Now, of course, the caveat is I, Ray Dalio, am showing you stuff that I've done in the previous quarter. Do you still think you can get some information out of that to help you in your investment journey? If you said yes, then you are a true member of the MCE crew because of course you can gain knowledge out of that and we're going to talk about how today but first I want to make it very clear that it is important that what I'm about to show you you do not use just to copycat a, an investor like Ray Dalio or Warren Buffett or Kathy Wood and the reason for that is again the information that you're gleaning is from the previous quarter so you're looking back into the past but there is still some information uh, that is very valuable even though you're looking into the past at these super investors the US government has a requirement and that comes out of the Security and Exchange Commission the requirement is that anyone out there who is managing in, in the United States managing uh, 100 million dollars or more they have to file what's called a 13 F on a quarterly basis and that 13F details exactly what they're investing, investing in or sold out of for the previous quarter. Now, you might say, well, how is this useful or why is, why is the government requiring them to do that uh, after the fact? Why, why can't they show it up front? Well, because if Warren Buffett came out on the day that he purchased any stock, then, of course, a lot of people would just follow him because he has a reputation for being a successful investor. A lot of people would just follow him and do, you know, what he's doing. So there would be some, you know, artificiality in those purchases. There would just be people uh, following the leader, okay, engaging in a herd mentality. By the same token, if Warren Buffett were to tell you on the very day if he came out tomorrow morning and called you and said, and, you know, a hundred million other people and said, I am selling this stock, then the same behavior would kick in and a lot of people would sell that stock. There would be a lot of artificiality there uh, because maybe Warren Buffett sold the stock just in order to get back down to a certain percentage of uh, that stock represented in his overall portfolio. Maybe he didn't, you know, see anything wrong with the company. He's not selling out of it, but there's a chance that the herd mentality would artificially impact that stock on a buy or a sell. So the SEC says these uh, high net worth investors, these people that manage 100 billion, 100 million rather or more can file on a quarterly basis. Now, how can you find out what they're doing? Well, there are two ways that you can do it. Now, you can go directly to the SEC's website, and I, of course, will link to all of that. But if you go to the SEC's website, uh, you'll find that the information is, is laid out uh, in enormous detail. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, you know, there's a little learning curve in there, depending on your investment experience. You can also access other sites like whalewisdom.com. Don't worry about it. I will go ahead and link to that. Now on Whale Wisdom, on Whale Wisdom, if you go in and you know the company name that we all know that Ray Dalio's company is Bridgewater Associates LP. And if we go in and we put that information in, it will bring us up a summary page of that company. And on that summary, it'll give us his top buys, his top sales, uh, sales and the 13F Holdings Summary. Uh, as of 3:31:21, of course, that is the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter of 2021. 
And we can see on here, one of the things, one of the ways we can use this information is if we have done our due diligence, this is extremely important, you shouldn't be investing in anything unless you've done a tremendous amount of research on it yourself or if you are in a contractual relationship with a financial professional who is either advising you on your moves or investing on your behalf, okay? Do not just go out and say, well, Warren Buffett did it so I can do it. Or Ray Dalio, he did it, so I'm going to just do it. Or Kathy Wood, that's what she bought or sold, so I'm going to do that same thing. That's a recipe for a disaster. You cannot just follow these people, especially when they've made the move a quarter before you are making it, potentially. So what you can do, though, is you can look at this uh, summary page, and then you can also look at the holdings page. And the holdings page can give you some insight on the industries that these investors are buying into or selling uh, selling out of, okay? And again, just use this information as additional research. Again, uh, Warren Buffett sold some Apple a few quarters ago. That did not mean that he had lost faith in the company. What it meant was he wanted to pare down his shares of Apple because with dividend reinvestment, Apple became a larger share of his overall portfolio. Uh, it went over a certain percentage of his portfolio, a uh, certain percentage of where he wanted it to be. So he pared down and put it back down near the percentage uh, of his portfolio that he is more comfortable with. Okay, So sometimes they're making moves like that. So you have to understand that. But when you look at Dalio's uh, and Bridgewater Associates, when you look at what they're doing, it's quite obvious that they are very high on consumer staples. So Walmart, uh, Procter & Gamble, uh, Coca-Cola, these are stocks that uh, they are investing in too. And if you look at what they're trading out of, then, you know, we've got some finance, well, financial stocks that they're coming out of. Uh, gold, uh, the material, is uh, something that they've pared down and reduced their portfolio by 41% uh, of that holding. So this is the type of information you can glean from this. This is uh, as good as you're probably going to get to having lunch with Ray Dalio, Warren Buffett, and all of these other uh, very astute super investors that are out there managing a lot of money. So uh, take a look at whalewisdom.com. That's one site that's going to uh, give you some insight there. And also learn to go ahead and read the uh, SEC's page as well. Now, I, I've, I've got to put this out there just one more time. You've got to do your due diligence. These sites are not a panacea for just how you should uh, uh, copycat these guys or uh, just use it as, you know, a lazy approach to investing. No, either you're going to do the research or you're going to hire somebody to do the research or you're going to take the approach that uh, you're going to just go out there and invest in funds that are mutual funds actively managed or uh, index funds that, you know, are passively managed or just follow an index. You can do that and have someone else uh, take care of the management for you. That's fine. That is a strategy that has shown success. But if you're interested in any particular stock or any particular industry, looking at whalewisdom.com and the SEC page, look at the 13F filings is one way that you can you know, discern, uh, okay, well, now that I've done my research, let me look over here and, and see if Ray Dalio has done anything with this. And if you see that he's buying into it or, or selling into it, it just means that, you know, you're probably going to do a little bit more research. Again, on this channel, we are investors. There are channels that uh, endeavor in trading and they talk about that and that's fine, uh, but that's not what we do here. So we're looking at this from the standpoint of an investment in terms of uh, a long-term approach. Warren Buffett, Kathy, Kathy Wood, uh, people like that. That's who we uh, look at 
emulate to the extent that we can at this level. Okay, we're not billionaires. Uh, all right. So, guys, I hope you found that uh, to be helpful, and I will talk to you soon.